Well, Bobby Portis, he was inserted into the starting lineup for his first time of the season. The tip goes to the Utah Jazz, or does it? Utah had a 33-point performance in the last game against the Bulls. The Jazz coming off their only win of the season in Chicago, and there is Keontae George. Oh, honor flight recognition. And experience that has to be for all you guys. It really is, and obviously in no way about us. Nine attempts, eight of them have been three-point attempts. Brooke battling for the offensive rebound. Pop a little bit, make that defense work, especially Bucks up 17 to 11. Move it a little bit, get a good one. Oh, look at that. Quick hands by Dane, forces the turnover. A three on one, and oh, let it fly! I'm sweating. But we're bringing out the, the number three on the next telestration if he makes it. Uh, George, it rims out. Opportunity here for the box. They don't think they have they can have free movement. They got to work for everything they're getting. I keep waiting for the dam to break. I feel like there, there, could, there should be more separation. It just feels that way here for the box. A one point advantage, 50 to 49. The largest lead has been 10 at one point. In and out for Dame. A two point deficit. George all the way inside. Loose ball. Brooke and Bobby will chase it down. And good job by committee, because Kessler down there, he's been the lead. Two teams desperate to build momentum here for their season tonight. George, jab step, not there. I think Dame thought he was probably going to get some free throws out of that leaning in, but good job finishing and just got to close this half strong, get a few stops, get them to cooperate. Not like that. Boy, you tie the game and then Markinen does that. And the latest coming on Monday against the Cavs with those stats in those categories for Dane. George above the break three. And Zuzang might have given too much space, I thought, to Dane. Oh. To George, the second year player, using the marketing screen. He won't hesitate to shoot the three, especially in the corners. Three seconds on the shot clock. George looking to take Giannis off the bounce. He's a great basketball mind, very well respected at 36 years old. And he's got this young group, he's got him playing well. George in and out, another rebound to Giannis who has another. Sexton the runner. He's found his rhythm a little bit, now 11 points. Respect everybody else, so he gets what he wants, but I just think you've got to be careful how much of that stopping and going one-on-one -on -one you get. The Bucks have got to shore up their three-point defense here in the second half. Juzang with the miss. So far, no three-pointers over the Jazz, but not the case for the Bucks as Tame gets another three-pointer, his third of the night. This could be an important point in the game. It's taken a lot from Milwaukee to get this little lead, this four points, but getting Juzang to miss one, getting Dame to make one in transition coming out of that timeout. That Utah is old. Thing. Sorry, Steve. Utah is old for four from three here in this third quarter. And George driving. Got a nice, easy, easy look as the defense was moving around. George is a guy who likes to. To Utah. A little bit of trash talk in those games. Sexton talking a little trash oh, that's, talk. Yeah, that's right. Colin uh, Sexton. Chu Zhang with the handoff gives it back to Collins. And George gets a look. Just pull up on a dime and knock that down. Makes it look very easy. Sexton from up top. Just the second three-point make of the second half for the Jazz. And they knock it away once again. Giannis on the move, looking at his options. A standing no at five serve for him for the Milwaukee Bucks. Pick up win number two. And the win that fans have been waiting for. 123 to 100 the final.